David Erdos with a new poem in the Bastards Charter sequence. Number 11, I think. It's a different age with new bastards appearing at every moment. This poem comments on the events of the week with the mini budget and the effects on the pound and uh, interest rates and people's livelihoods and how this country continues to be seen or unseen by those around it. Uh, it also manages to be a part review of a famous prog rock album. So there really is something for everyone here. It may well be out of date by tomorrow, but uh, at, uh, what is it now, half past 11 on the 27th of September 2022, it feels opposite. Expelling England by the pound. Selling England by the pound is the name of a famous Genesis album. One of their best, where the lyrics mix social comment with romantic muse and word play. But in England this week, Kuateng's cutting of tax to high earners raises the riches rates of disinterest in the fate of the poor's pale array to near farcical heights. As the Hitler-haired Rees Mogg preens and prattles, his offshore millions pre-Brexit banked won't be risked, while the rest of us count the coins as with the death of 20 and 50 pound notes, we lose value. The measuring of increasingly meagre resources and the accounting of such will be brisk as prices rise and people go to bed in leg warmers or in their coats, fearing winter, which after the summer's sweltering heat claims the night, which is colder around here than a witch's tit. That old saying makes me nostalgic for the world in which I first learned what was right. That world was flawed. Don't get me wrong, but in saying it still felt somehow safer, especially as we are spiralling now. Dooms, a drug, from the crash of the crown to the sense that there was no one left to protect us. In Liverpool, Sakir steers his conference into a possible moment in which the concept of chance and change gets a clock plug. This could be a moment for labour, he says, but how to define that sharp second? His speech was platitudes, mostly. A verbal toasting that was more like a cup of tea or dad hug. We needed to hear it, of course. As Prime Minister distrust, unknowing, says nothing. Ill-equipped or unwilling, she was once described as inept. I wonder what she listens to. I doubt it's Peter Gabriel singing, Steve Hackett's solos or those Tony Banks runs. So which muse or fuse? Is she kept. Phil Collins's drums and Mike Rutherford's bass ground that album. But how are we grounded? As once the rug's been pulled, the floor fails. And everything is happening so fast. Even Fiona Bruce on the 10 o'clock news says it. Torn from her antiques, it appears we are the items which could very well be up for sale. England has flailed and would seem to be failing. There is no moonlit night now approaching and the track after the ordeal can't be honoured as events for now stall that song. Why can't we get correct representation? And what is wrong with a system that lets people like Truss come along? Incompetence pours like incontinence in this country. Meanwhile, Italy startles with its far-right turn. Events spike where is hope to be housed, practically? In religion? For the religious, yes. But for others, cold and untold stories strike. It is no longer safe to assume. But then was it ever? Everything now seems uncertain. Same as it ever was? Talking heads. About as far as you can get from those boys from Charterhouse, Pimlico and Phil Collins's Chiswick. But if I listen now to Once in a Lifetime... Those lyrics truly fit today's dread. This is not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife, and etc. How did I get here? How indeed, say the dead. Who must be watching appalled or glad to be out of it, maybe. My own departed are as alien now as far space. Part of another time, a lost age, which can't really have been all that different. Perhaps it's the pace that seems slower. But then we had Thatcher, Pinochet and Pol Pot. And they were leaders for sure. 
albeit in the wrong direction. Now all sheep stumble as the dog has lost voice and plot. I think about the real cost of today's moronic decisions. Whoever wrote Macbeth really had it. Time is an idiot's story. So are we to learn it or one day look back proudly on the vomitous vows we won't stomach and the lines and life lessons that in needing so much more, we forgot. David Erdos, 27th of September, 2022.